Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. Good morning, it is my birthday today, it's the 2nd of March and I'm just doing my makeup, as you can see, just getting ready for the day. We've had a really nice brekkie, Ash managed to find some vegan croissants and chocolate spread and strawberries and that was really lovely and we're gonna have a cooked breakfast for our lunch, um, like a brunch. We usually go out for breakfast, um, but I just didn't fancy this year. I just wanted to be at home this morning and yeah, just play with the boys, open some prezzies. And when Ash goes to work this afternoon, my mum's going to come round, my brother, his girlfriend. Um, and it's just going to be a really nice afternoon, I think. I just love birthdays. They're just so special. So it's going to be a really lovely day. And yeah, I wanted to film it, to look back on. I never film my birthday. I always just forget um, and there's just too much excitement going on. But yeah, so I will show you what we get up to. Ew, is that for me? Is that for mummy? Is it for me? Oh, oh my goodness. That's okay. Is that for me as well? Happy birthday to mommy. 
wait, Harlow. It's Molly's turn to blow the candles out. To you. Here you go, Molly. different I think it's like the thing about like you map out your grid of your house and you have different areas for different things you have like a, a finance like a money bit a diff and you so put it brings it in a different point yeah and you put different crystals that age that in different parts and did you know that when there's a full moon you you can either put them in sunlight now and it cleanses mm. them running water cleanses them or like on a full moon you put them out on a full moon it cleanses your crystals because it like holds all like if it's like for holding negative energy mm. some are self-clearing but some aren't and they need like Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it's, oh. it's true! Oh. It's true, people! Oh, don't put it back in there. Oh, no way! Oh, a lemon! Smell? Watch him. Smell? <laughs> Smell? Smell? <laughs> 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 How's things on the oh. bathroom? Oh. I've got one! Oh, steady! Got one the bedroom. Oh my Tesco Goodness I had it for ages I had it for months That ago. is stunning Look at that Harley
this morning it's friday now we've come out to stratford for some breakfast we're gonna meet my dad and my brother and it is chilly this morning we're gonna cross here um yeah it's really chilly i had a lovely birthday my dad ended up popping in as well last night which was really special to be able to see him but yeah we are seeing him again this morning um and that's what we're up to this morning it's about 10 o'clock atlas is having a nap in his pram harlow's now being carried Good morning, happy Sunday. Please ignore any mess behind me that you can see. I'm just sat about to do my makeup. I have got a little bit on already. Um, in between getting the boys ready, having breakfast, I've come back upstairs now to finish it off. And we've had a lovely morning so far. We had baths and We've just had egg soldiers, which I never really do, but Ash was like, I really fancy them. Can you do like dippy eggs? So that's what I did. And the boys really enjoyed it. Harlow never used to like egg and he literally ate about three eggs this morning. He stole one of mine as well. So that was good. He's got a nice full tummy. Um, the plan for this morning is to, not this morning, today, is that we're gonna go out for a meal with my mom and my brother and his girlfriend. To celebrate my birthday again um we don't need an excuse to go out for a meal and celebrate someone's birthday we love it so yeah that's what we're gonna do i've actually got a free meal voucher for where we're going they sent me an email because it was my birthday they were like have a free meal on us when you buy sorry about <laughs> they're on the phone to ashley's parents because they're away um in wales so Atlas is very chatty by the sounds of things. Um, but yeah, meals t at about half twelve. I'm hoping it's not going to be too busy because obviously it's a Sunday and we're going for a carvery. Um, but we have booked a table, so it should be fine. Um, and this morning I thought I would just... Sorry, that is so noisy. Let me shut the door. Hold on. I wanted to talk you through a couple of the things that you can do really quickly um as part of your morning routine daily rituals whatever you want to call it to do with manifesting and the law of attraction which i know i mention a lot um but yeah i thought it would be nice just to share with you some of the things that i do that have a really positive impact on my life um and the first thing that i do is affirmations and this can literally take you a minute actually this is the second thing i do i'll come back onto the first thing in a minute but affirmations is one of the things you can do every day really quickly to help you with your mindset with positivity manifesting your goals um and you can really tailor this to you so i actually listen to um like an affirmations download that i bought from francesca amber so the law of attraction changed my life I've said it a thousand times if you haven't checked out her podcast or her instagram head over there because that's where my law of attraction journey started was listening to her podcasts so she's incredible she um yeah sells like pre-recorded affirmations to do with all different things she's got one for money for health for positive parenting which is the one that i love because every single day that is at the top of my list that i'd be a good mom and a good parent so I listen to that usually when I'm in the shower and to start with some of the things may because it's all like pre, it's like personal like I am a great parent and you might have had a bad day think I'm oh, a crap parent like that's not me or you know things like that but because you're saying it in the in the like first person you just embody it and you start to become those things it's really powerful and mirror work is another one so you could pick one two affirmations for your day that are specific to your day okay. i do well, i don't want to talk to you my day i'm not born it out come here what's wrong i don't want it on you don't want pockets no. you want a zip though yeah, you have a good one. But my dad wanna take that on. You still want the writing on? Yeah. We'll have to get you another one, won't we? Get another blue one. Another blue one. 
Jumper? No, no. Do you want it to have a hood? No. Do you want it to have a zip? Mummy, no hoodie. A hoodie. <laughs> Where was I? Affirmations. You can pick two to say to yourself and look in the mirror and do some mirror work and like say them, which sounds silly, but it really works. And just keep them in your head throughout your day. If it's specific to your day or your goals, manifesting your goals, um, you know, it could be financial, it could be health, it could be anything. Um, and affirmations are so easy to just slot into your day and make a big impact. The next thing, well, the first, this is actually the first thing I do and it's practicing gratitude. And what can this look like? So on a day where I've got a little bit more time, I like to write out three to five things that I'm grateful for. So I'll say, I am so incredibly grateful for da 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 because, and you like write your because. And there's just something about writing it down, looking back at it on the end, at the end of the day. And I find that when I've written it down, I remember it more throughout the day. So I know what they are. Um, but if I don't have time for this, literally just when you open your eyes, just think of three things. And you can literally spend a minute just focusing on those things and like how grateful you are. It could be, I'm so grateful for my health today. I'm so grateful for my job. I'm so grateful for the weekend. I get to spend time with my family, whatever it is. And there's always something to be grateful for. Even if you've had a bit of a, a crap night's sleep or whatever it is, um, you know, there's always something to be grateful for. And this just sets your day you know, on the days where maybe I don't do this, mm. I notice it more. Um, and it doesn't have to be first thing. You know, you could be making your cup of tea and you could just think of a few things. But just practising gratitude is so powerful. It's really at the heart of everything to do with the law of attraction um, and manifesting more rather than always focusing on the more. That can create kind of a lack feeling of like, oh, I haven't got enough. But focusing on what you do have just it's like a magnet so it just brings more of that in um and it's yeah really powerful like i said and i feel like the more you do this the easier it is to just notice things to be grateful for in every everyday life um it's it, everything there's so much to be grateful for like you've got another day it's not promised you know like how lucky are we every single day to you know have our health have our family there's just an abundance of things to be grateful for and it's it can sometimes, unless you focus on them, you can kind of forget. Um, so yeah, that's, if you're trying to manifest anything, financial, with your job, anything, um, it all starts with gratitude basically. So just having that in your everyday. And I, another way I do this is by the, at the end of the day, I run back through my day in my head and think of all the good things that have happened. And we actually do this at dinner time. I'm sure you've heard me say before that we have little crystals and we hold our crystals and we pass it around. I don't know how it, how it happened like that, but that's just what Hannah likes to do. And we say our favourite thing of the day. And sometimes he needs a bit of help. So I say, oh, we did this in the morning. We did this, for, we had this for lunch and we did this activity. And he's like, oh yeah. And sometimes it's actually hard to pick a favourite thing because you've done so many good things throughout the day. So that's another really quick thing you can just build into your daily routine. Um, and it makes a massive difference. Another really powerful daily habit to build into your routine to do with manifesting is visualization and i have always kind of naturally done this without realizing um and you basically just spend a little bit of time imagining that goal as if it's already happened and you've achieved it and you know there's different ways you can do this like for me one of the things that springs to mind is when I'm like thinking about a space in the home that maybe needs a bit of a revamp or you know how I want it I can literally picture every single part of that room and I get it how I want it in my head and then it happens and you see it come into fruition and it's it's amazing and um, so that's quite like a tangible goal to meet um but you know if it's financial obviously it's a little bit more vague but you imagine yourself like receiving that money imagine visualizing it on your on your phone when you log into your app and like how much money you've got or if it's um 
I don't know, whatever you're trying to manifest, if it's your dream wedding, then imagine yourself on the day and what are you wearing and what are everyone else wearing and things like that. Try and really feel um, how you would feel when you've reached that goal. If it's your dream house, imagine yourself unlocking the door and going in. And a part of that as well that comes off of that is like your future self. So what is that person doing? What is that future version of you doing? What are they wearing? What car are they driving? What are they doing in their everyday life? And then you kind of take those little things, those little clues from your visions and you become that. So if you ima imagine the future and the you that you, you know, that has all these things you want, all these desires and goals that they've, they've done it. If they're going to the gym every morning, you need to be going to the gym every morning. If they're, you know, whatever it could be, if they're eating a healthy cooked meal every night, you need to be doing that. So that's like little clues that we can take away as well um and yeah I love that so it literally applies to everything so for me at the moment one of my goals for this month is to help five um women moms people who want to improve their health and to help inspire them with their nutrition and healthy living so that may be through the products within our business or through the business opportunity itself you know making an extra income on the side can really help people so i just yeah i've been visualizing myself having these conversations with people you know people coming to me and saying oh like that's really helped me like i'm feeling so much better or like i made 50 pounds this month and this is what i'm spending it on um and just imagining like how that will feel how rewarding that's going to be to know that i've helped people so that's like one way that i'm visualizing um you know the details of my goal rather than just oh i've got five people that you know five customers or i've made five sales or whatever it is rather than just that um it helps me to like feel it a bit more and get, make it a bit more personal obviously i don't know who these people will be yet but a lot of the law of attraction is like having that sorry this is going to creep me some people out hold on sorry i realized that i was talking as i was curling my eyelashes and that's that's just not a vibe for some people is it um yeah so law of attraction is definitely like you have to believe it and once you manifest certain things you will believe it more and more um you know like last year i did the magic for the first time about a year ago and if you don't know it's a 28 day gratitude practice where you make all your dreams come true people have incredible results like literally ridiculous um and each day you do a different um way of expressing and feeling gratitude for different things and we did it for a month and in like day three this is quite a random like tangible thing that i manifested but i was talking to ash about how i really wanted a little zippy greenhouse in my garden we were looking at them online i was like oh, i'll use my birthday money like it was like 40 pounds like yeah you know I'll, I'll get one it's you know it's worth it to me like i'm gonna buy one looked at the one i wanted went out on a walk and when we were on the walk his friend messaged him and was like my neighbor's getting rid of a zippy greenhouse do you want one and it was like we just got it for free and it was exactly the same so things like that like literally happen and then when they do you kind of build your own little list and write them down as well of things that have magical outcomes we call them have things that you've manifested goals you've hit um and that sort of reinforces your belief and your faith in it that when you put in the work it works um i've just got mascara all over me um another thing that happened again when i was doing the magic at the start of this year on day three i think it was me and ash made the decision that we were going to home educate and we'd been throwing this idea around literally for like years and so it felt really magical in itself that we could come to that decision um and one of the biggest sort of blockers for that decision was you know financial like i wasn't working like i've been off with the boys since i had harlow and it's just been ash's um wages so that was kind of you know how are we going to make it work if you can't do a traditional like job within school hours and go to a workplace and work for someone else how are you going to work and i said i will find a way to make an income um you know from home working from home but not just working from home like being able to choose my own hours when it fits around me putting as much or as little as i want um 
you know, and, and build a community with other parents and all these kinds of things that I was saying. Two days later, um, Rachel, my upline, offered me the Juice Plus opportunity. And I wasn't sure at the time if it was a sign. Should I? Is it a sign? And I had a phone call with my best friend, Tanisha, who was also doing the magic with me. And she was like, this is a sign that this has been sent to you. You've asked for a way to make an income at home. This is it. Like, And now I look back on it. Um, that was, you know, one of those magical outcomes that you manifest. I didn't know. I, like you don't. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you don't always have to know the how. So I just knew that I wanted to be able to work from home. However, my boys can still home educate. If I sat there worrying, well, what job could it be? What business could it be? Like, you're just stressing. Like, trust that what is meant for you will come to you. And if you're doing all the right things, you know, these daily little practices and things like that, it will come. And it may be a month, it may be two months, it may be however long, but just stick with your goals and stick with your, you know, doing these little visualisations, your gratitude lists, all these things. And good things will come I'm telling you it's changed my life um learning about the law of attraction changing my mindset you know doing mindset work I love it um obviously the law of attraction changed my life podcast is incredible the Emma Mumford YouTube channel is amazing she's got a podcast she's got a book she's great Gabby Bernstein there's so many people I could go on and on all day long um you just have to find who like you resonate with and who you can learn from youtube's literally just like a mobile university isn't it where there's so much on there and you don't even have to watch it you can just listen like put it on when you're in the car that's another one of my biggest um tips is like no extra time time so as a mom this can be a bit tricky because like when i'm in the car me and harlow will have chats about what we can see and we play like little games and stuff like that if i'm washing up like I, they still need me to be like present but if you have got five minutes like now, obviously I'm recording this, but because Ash is here, I'll pop a little podcast on, I'll pop a YouTube video on and it's just going in. You don't always have to just sit and watch or sit and listen or whatever. Obviously, if you're reading a book, it's a bit different, but maybe audio books. If you have a half an hour drive in the morning, podcast, YouTube, like there's so much that you can do. Um, and that, I mean, that can feel a bit overwhelming, can't it? When there's too, so much out there. But honestly... Just find what works for you. Um, I don't know how this turned into a law of attraction chat. Um, one more thing I am going to say, which I know I bang on about. If you are struggling with mindset or mental health or anything like that, the power of a good diet and nutrition is amazing so there's so much research and studies and you know things like that to prove that your gut health directly impacts your mental health your brain health which kind of blew me away when I sort of discovered that fact and I can say it's honestly true I've been taking the juice plus supplements now for nearly two months every single day and my moods have been overall a lot more improved and I, a part of it is because it's kind of like a catalyst effect it inspires me to eat healthier it inspires me to exercise more and all the law of attraction stuff inspires me to be positive every single day but it doesn't always happen like yesterday was a little bit of a wobbly day which is why I didn't film anything um we were going to go to a national trust and it was just just one of them days if I'm honest but instead of like obsessing about it and digging yourself into like this like cycle of oh it's so negative you can observe those negative thoughts and be like you know what it's okay today's a fresh day let's let's move on and yeah I just think that nutrition eating good feeling good really affects your mental health and your mood so all these little things just kind of slot into place and we can live a better and healthier life this is the way guys this is the way you live a good life and I'm just so passionate about sharing it with as many people as I can, inspiring you to be the best versions of you that you can be, happiest, healthiest you. So if there's a tiny little snippet of inspiration you got from this really rambly chat, then I'm happy. I'm not so happy with this mascara. Um, all this lighting, I've just caught a glimpse of you and the lighting's not great, but yeah, 
I'm not looking forward to editing this clip because I know how much I was rambling on. But I'm going to go and be with my boys. We're going to play for a little bit. I've got a couple of cleaning jobs to get done before we head out. So I will take you along with us for the day. <laughs> 